All right, so we finally got some more information on the next Grand Theft Auto Online update. When we last left things off, we were talking about Rockstar's event that they announced on December 2nd, 2021, and how it is set to expire on December 13th, 2021, which essentially indicates, because this is a longer-than-normal event week, that the next DLC is going to come out on the following day, December 14th. So because of that, it looks like we now have the release date, but we still really don't know entirely what the update is going to be about. We know it's going to feature some familiar faces. It looks like there's going to be a legitimate business involved. Many have speculated that this is going to be a hybrid of Tuners Part 2 and After Hours Part 2. But we still don't have any official concrete details yet from Rockstar, other than that very small bit of teasing they did. The majority of the information we've received has actually come from music artists teasing their involvement. And it looks like there was another artist who actually did. So we ended up seeing this from Rockstar Games Insider Tez Funds 2, who retweeted the music producer Black Mass, who said GTA 5 x Black Mass very soon. And he said, popular music producer Black Mass is teasing his music being featured within GTA Online's next update. And you can see that Black Mass put that out on December 4th. So that actually happened over the weekend with Tez Funds 2 being alerted of it the following day, December 5th. When I first saw this, no offense to Black Mass, I actually had to look up who that was because I didn't really know his music or what he does really all that much. He's a rapper. He's a music producer. He's actually from Atlanta, which is my hometown. So that's actually kind of cool. Go Black Mass. So it looks like that's the style of music that he's going to be adding to the game. Now, he did end up putting out a follow-up tweet Someone ended up asking him if he was going to be on a radio station, and he just simply responded with, yes, he was going to be on a radio station. So I don't know if he's going to be the host of a new station, if his songs are just going to be featured on a radio station, if he is going to be a resident DJ at either the Music Locker or either at our nightclubs. That I'm not sure. So we will just have to wait and see, but it looks like he is going to be the newest addition to Grand Theft Auto Online, Black Mass. So not sure how many of you guys know of him, but he's got a pretty big following, and it seems like his music is pretty cool. So I'm assuming you guys are going to enjoy that as well. Now, there was more follow-up from Rockstar Games Insider Tez Funds 2 on the GTA forum site. He said, so far we have Dr. Dre and the increased likelihood of DJ Pooh and Jimmy Levine appearing in the next update. And then you have Ne Joel Broco, uh, Seki Vinci, however you say that, and Roshi RD, who have announced their music being featured in the next update. Now we have Black Mass announcing his music is featured in the update too. It seems like there are going to be a ton of music artists involved too, but these select few broke their NDA earlier. So NDA is non-disclosure agreement, which essentially means you just can't talk about it. And what Tez Funds 2 is saying here is it might not be just these people involved. There's likely a possibility that there's going to be a handful more because these people have just chosen to break their silence earlier, which honestly is not really a great idea, especially if any of these artists or producers really want any chance of working with Rockstar again just because we know how secretive they are. If you end up spilling the beans a little bit early, there's probably no chance that you're coming back and working with them again. They have a very strict policy on that, even beyond music artists. We've seen it with voice actors, motion capture artists. If you kind of go against the Rockstar way, it's unlikely you'll ever be back. So long story short, it looks like we're getting a lot of new music content in this Grand Theft Auto Online update. Now, don't be like freaked out if you are a not a fan of that kind of music. Again, I'm sure there's going to be different artists that appear. And number two, don't get freaked out if you're not a fan of the music in GTA Online. I'm sure just like the Cayo Perico heist, it's going to be something where the music locker is a big part and the DJs might be characters. But at the end of the day, you're still going to be doing Grand Theft Auto stuff. It's not like this is going to be turning into Rockstar Games Beta Raider. Now, we do know how heavily involved they are in music. They do have their own music label, Circo Loco Records. So it wouldn't be shocking if we saw more artists that appeared on Circo Loco to appear in this update. It kind of just goes hand in hand. That's something I would expect to see from Rockstar. 
Now, it kind of makes you wonder when we're actually going to hear official information about this DLC. Well, it kind of made me think of all the other December updates when they were announced and then when they officially ended up coming out. So of December 2015, we had the Executives and Other Criminals update. That was announced on December 10th, 2015, and it released five days later on December 15th. In December 2016, we had the Import-Export update. It was officially announced on December 2nd, 2016, and came out about two weeks later on December 13th, 2016. In December of 2017, we got the Doomsday Heist, which was announced on December 7th and then came out on December 12th. So that was about five days. In 2018, we had Arena War. That was only announced one day before on December 10th, 2018, released on December 11th, 2018. In 2019, we got the Diamond Casino Heist, which was announced on December 5th, 2019, with a release date being December 12th, 2019. So again, about seven days. And then Cayo Perico is kind of the outlier. It was announced officially on December 20th, 2020, and then released on December 15th. Although that initial tease didn't really include like a lot of information. The, the, a real trailer and screenshots came out much closer to the release date. So if we take away some of the outliers, like Arena War that was only announced the day before, and the Cayo Perico heist, which was announced almost a month before, we're basically looking at a week to 10 days before the update is announced. And so because of that, we're kind of like right in that time point where we should be seeing the next update get announced. So hopefully within the next couple of days, I don't know what's going on in the Red Dead online front, so maybe Rockstar chooses tomorrow to make that announcement because people were even asking about that, and we'll tie this into Red Dead Online. Essentially, Rockstar has not been working on Red Dead Online. Uh, even Insider Test Funds 2 says no new update in development is a likely scenario. Rockstar moving to a different development environment is entirely possible, but it would make more sense to see that happening across the board, including GTA Online too. Unlike the current case where GTA Online is receiving QA beta updates and where there is none for Red Dead Online. We will have to wait and see what happens. So if Red Dead Online is not getting an update tomorrow or nothing is going on, well, Rockstar could then use Tuesday as an opportunity to talk about what's going on in the world of GTA Online. So long story short, I think we're getting pretty close here to finally hearing from Rockstar regarding the next Grand Theft Auto Online update. And you know what? It's about time. They've been radio silent, in my opinion, for far too long. So it would be nice to see them, you know, tell us what the update's going to be about, how we can get excited for it, the things we need to know, what it's going to involve, and who it's going to be with, all that sort of good stuff. So... I'd love to hear from you guys in those comments down below. When do you think we are going to hear from Rockstar regarding the next Grand Theft Auto Online update? And what do you think it's going to be about? Let me know your thoughts, opinions, and more in those comments down below. I would love to hear from you guys down there. If you guys did go and enjoy this video, though, a like rating would, of course, be awesome. And be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new. If you want to stay up to date on all the latest GTA and all the Rockstar Games videos that I'll be doing here on my channel, and be sure to ring that notification bell as well. Sometimes YouTube just doesn't work. And if you ring that bell, you'll always be guaranteed to be notified when new videos arrive. But of course, as always, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Take care. And I'll see you guys in the next video.